The horse galloped hard and carried the girl toward freedom. A hundred yards away, two massive walls of water had been pulled back to expose a narrow stretch of dry land. The girl, using her last ounce of strength, kicked her legs, trying to spur the horse on. All she had to do was reach the other side. A second horse behind her, mounted by an Egyptian guard, closed the gap. The chase was almost over. Even though the young girl had put up an honorable fight, the pharaoh's warrior was seconds away from catching his human prey. He rode up beside her and grabbed the back of her shirt. Only a short time before, eleven-year-old Kai Wells had been standing at the edge of the pi Haharoth camp overlooking the sea. After an intense battle with the skilled soldier who wanted her dead, Kai couldn't fight any more. She managed to land a last kick that connected with the warrior's knee, which allowed her to jump on the horse and ride away. But none of that mattered now. Her heroic fight and escape were for nothing. Her captor squeezed hard and yanked her from the fleeing horse. The guard threw her body down into the water. The force was so strong it felt like she hit dry ground. Ahead, on the freedom path, her eyes focused on the thousands of men and women and their children who were marching on, celebrating their epic escape from captivity. They had no idea what was happening to the young girl who tried so desperately to protect one of their own. The impact of hitting the water stunned Kai. She lost her bearings. Her body was numb. The warrior had dismounted and was standing over her. Pure evil emanated from his eyes. The end was here. The only thing Kai could think about was the little Hebrew girl she had fought so hard to protect. At least she was free. Never to be bullied by the wicked man standing over her. The soldier who had been pursuing her since Goshen reached down and yanked Kai to her feet. The man's free hand moved to slap Kai's face. She managed to reach out and block the shot with one hand. Anger tightened the man's grip. Kai wondered what this man was going to do to her. Three more soldiers on horseback appeared. They formed a loose circle around Kai and the soldier. Kai's guess was they had come to give help to her captor. All she wanted to do was be back home, safe in her living room, tucked under her favorite blanket staring at the fish swimming back and forth in the tank. She wondered if the fish knew there was more to the world than just the fake seaweed and sand. Kai wondered if the fish ever thought about getting out, escaping the walls that held them in. Ahead, a sea of people continued on, moving toward a new reality a reality that included making their own decisions and experiencing the satisfaction that would come with that freedom. In all their celebrating, Kai's call for help was drowned out. She was past the point of being saved. You were a fool to think you'd escape. The words that came from the soldier's mouth were truth now. They took on form and entered her mind like a dagger, Kai felt them penetrate her spirit and release the last drops of willpower she'd been holding on to. She looked out one last time at the Israelites and saw them vanish as the massive walls of water slammed shut over the narrow path of dry ground. The sea quickly wrapped up Kai and carried her away. The fight was finished, and so was Kai. Present day, Florida. Kai Wells clenched her fists and stared hard at the girl who stood across from her. Her friends had left her alone, each scampering off to safe places, far away from the towering threat known as Vivian Gold. It had come to this, a face-to-face -face confrontation, off school property so no teachers would ruin the fight. Kai kept her eyes locked on the tall girl with tangled black hair who faced her. The bully. Vivian Gold, the human monster that quiet people feared. Anger, threats, pain. Kai tried a quick assessment of possible escape routes, but there weren't any. Not today. I'm going to teach you a lesson on how to keep your pretty little mouth shut, Wells. <laughs>